Hello everyone, welcome to Not Part of Your Scene Reviews. My name is Chris Sarda. You can find me um, on Twitter at Chris Sarda. You can find Not Part of Your Scene on Instagram at Not Part of Your Scene, all one word. And today we are going to review uh, Batman number 70 by the totally uncontroversial Tom King, who has been getting more death threats on Twitter apparently, and um, even had to uh, not only report it, but tell everyone, hey, they should stop doing that. I mean, people take this stuff a little a little too seriously. Um, Tom King is doing something different here. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. It's just it's, it's just his style of writing. Very heavily, you know, he quotes a lot of literature, in fact, to the point where um, if, you know, if he if these were YouTube videos and not comic books, he would he would probably uh, lose copyright to it, his, especially in Heroes in Crisis, a lot of literature. So uh, we just got done with the Nightmare um, series, and now we are, this is part one of The Fall and the Fallen. It, Tom King wrote it, uh, Mikhail Janin and Jorge Fordness did great work in the art. Um, Jordi Belair is always an incredible colorist. And this is one of the only comic books I really noticed the the letterer, and it's Clayton um, uh, cowls. Lettering is one of those things that you don't know is bad until, um, until you see bad lettering. The Rise, for example, although I think that wasn't the letterer's fault, it was just wordy. So, um, Nightmare was just real tough to read. Uh, I guess I get what was going on. It was just a series of nightmares, but it just felt so long. Um, it was six issues, but that doesn't mean that it was six issues because in the middle, there was a crossover with the Flash, so there was a little break in Nightmare, then it continued sort of thing. And they were just just real, really weird abstract issues that went too long. In fact, I, I feel bad for someone that just grabs that uh, uh, trade paperback off the shelf and thinks, oh, I'm just going to get a Batman arc or something. Because Nightmare is, just gets you, you know, it's just a strange from beginning to end. It doesn't link. It just feels like a dream, like it should, like Tom King was trying to do but nothing uh, holding it together. Uh, in this book, we get him waking up. Uh, it turned out he was in the basement of Arkham Asylum, and he starts uh, tearing crap up. Now, this acts as more of a an introduction um, or a, a prologue to whatever the new arc's going to be. I want to say this, though. It's just now we're just outright. It's clear Bane is the main bad guy of the last 100 issues. I sort of want to reread these hundred issues to see if I see any little bane, little bane quirks in it anywhere. But uh, now it's just outright he's uh, clearly he's clearly somewhat controlling Batman and and pulling his little strings and stuff. Uh, he says as much. Tom King likes to use the not as popular characters. He has no problem just rolling out the you know some of the even cornier characters. Uh, Calendar Man was in there as was uh, the ventriloquist, for example. And Batman essentially just fights his way out of Arkham Asylum and um, you know, decides not to find, not to go look and, and attack Bane at this moment, of course, because he, you know, he just went six issues of, of being just really effed up, essentially. Um, I got the B cover. It is by uh, UN Lu, uh, uh, Lenil Liu and Dave Stewart. Um, really like this cover. The last one was a little bit too dark. I think it was a Matina cover. But this one, you know, it, this one really just encapsul encapsulates Batman and it isn't too computery. It just looks like a, a good comic book drawing. Um, nice background. Feels like Gotham. So very happy with that cover. I do always just get the B covers for these. Uh, anyway, you know, at this point, you already know if you like this comic book or not. Um, it's, I'm, I don't want to say more of the same, but it's just another chapter in the Tom King saga. And if you hate it, you got about, what, 30 issues, two a month. You got about a year and three months more of it. And then you can, you can be done and Batman will probably go back to its, its original self. Anyway, again, Twitter, at Chris Sarda, Instagram, uh, at not part of your scene. Thank you very much for watching. Strong B plus on this and you guys have a wonderful day.